like just quiet moments, me and the Dewey Decimal System, you know? No, okay, <laughs> now stop right now. The Mercedes Benz Interview Lounge. Oh, Please come in. You. Sit oh down. God. We got so much to talk about. We go way back. <laughs> we do. Well, I was Hi. just saying, oh. <laughs> you know, th- this station where we're located, Z100 hey. in New York, your music Woo. is your music <laughs> has been such a vital part of our radio station for so many years. Yes. It's great to have you here today to talk about this chapter. I know. I'm thrilled to be here. Honestly, I have so much like um positive so I have so many positive associations with like radio and um over the years, especially in the U.S., just right. kind of through the years since the beginning of my career, I have so many fond memories of like traveling through the U.S. and and speaking to radio stations or at radio shows, and just really those are my most um, valued moments. Meeting fans, I would tell you, like just meeting, you know, the truck driver who had to come in and say hello with a CD. Yes, a CD. This is the year two thousand two. Remember those? <laughs> Who just said, "I I love. I'm like a bird. I've never heard of you, but I heard the song while I was driving my, you know, twelve hour shift, and I just had to. When I knew the radio station was doing this event, I had to come meet you. Like those moments you never forget because they're so real. Well, these are the lega- these are the legacy moments. I say, well, if someone ever asked me, well, what do you want your legacy to be? <laughs> I'm like, I want one day someone to go. I remember we. We were living in New York. There was that guy that had that show, we, but we laughed. We listened every day. What was his name? I'm okay with that legacy. You don't have to know my name. But yeah. I'm like a bird. I mean, well, that goes back to what? Whoa, Nelly, right? Mm-hmm. And then look at all the fascinating things you've done in your life since then. And it hasn't been all music, no. which I find fascinating. And I find that, you know, not knowing you, I find that probably makes you a much more well-rounded person than someone who's just been trying to do music the entire oh, time. I I'm appreciate assuming. that. You may Thank be an awful so human being. I don't know. <laughs> don't, don't talk to them. <laughs> <laughs> you may be the worst. No, no I don't think so. You're absolutely right. I've taken some breaks, and I've done that for my own, you know, well-being, just so right. I can just, you know, float back into the crowd and just kind of feel, you know, life and other things, and, and then then write. I write all my songs, so I'm like, I need that. I need that. So otherwise, what what could I what would I write about? But that's being an artist. An artist shouldn't be <laughs> doing art every day because. Uh, yeah, that's the that's the goal. All right. Well, I have look, a question. I have a question. Okay, I inter- played your piano in the 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 green room. It wasn't, it's There's a, a nice small piano. little thing. I made a beat. I'm gonna send it to Timbaland. Do it. Beat club. So you know, he'll accept we, we, we it. We want credit for that. Okay. Let me <laughs> let me introduce you to everyone. So Danielle is at home. Here she Hi. is. Oh, hi, Danielle. You're not Are with. You're at home today. Yes. And oh, Froggy's in Jacksonville. He's up there. Oh my gosh. How's the weather? It's very nice and muggy. <laughs> <laughs> I love that question. How's the weather? And, and Gandhi did make it in today. Hi, Gandhi. Thank you for coming in. Anytime. So, <laughs> so uh, Danielle, where were you going to go? So my question is, like, when we all started, and you as well, there was no social media. There was none of that stuff. Correct. How do you feel mm. about it? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Are you indifferent? <laughs> I personally love it. I've benefited tremendously from apps like TikTok because um, there's been a resurgence of my music because of TikTok. And uh, at first, I didn't get it. I had it, you know, my daughter, I think my oldest was 16. I have three kids. Mm-hmm. Uh, but at the time, my oldest was, was 16, and she's like, Mom, Promiscuous is trending on TikTok. And I'm like scratching my head going, what does that mean? <laughs> is what that do good? I do? <laughs> so she should have called me attorney? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And that's grown into me just like going to the dance studio, making videos for TikTok, like looking at the trends, getting inspired by TikTok. So for me personally, I, I'm lucky enough to have a catalog that goes way back. So to have those songs have a resurgence has meant the world to me. And it's actually made me more excited about my career. Like it's kind of brought me back in the ring per se, where I'm like, let's go. But now we're going from, as Danielle's talking about social media, TikTok, mm-hmm. but now we're rolling into AI. Yes. Now, mm-hmm. now okay, yes. don't, don't don't give me any like smiles because I, <laughs> I don't know how you feel about it yet. I'm going to ask you the question. Then we want to hear what you think. Do you, How will you feel? You when know, you when when your daughter sends you a video of you singing a song and it's not you and it's a song you've never heard of <laughs> I feel like if we could make the voice like everybody's individual characteristics of their voice like singers and that into like a system kind of like Shazam you know with knows right. the codes like you play them you play Shazam a digital thing and it knows what song it is maybe we could do that with AI So you're good with AI then Well 
Your answer That's, is there's th- yes. Yeah, thumbs there's up. There's so many you. lawyers in the world. I'm sure they'll figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> Fingers right. crossed. Uh, yeah, but I feel like yeah, like I'm not super like it's not super triggering or anything. I think it could be like a positive thing. Like, per- but I will say I heard a song recently that was like an interpolation of one of my songs. I think it was given to me. It was what they call. I literally sent it to my friend, like uh, a DJ. I sent it. I sent it to say I can't even tell if this is my voice because it was a singer oh. sounding exactly like me. Really, so it, it fooled you a little bit. And it wasn't AI, but it's. It's the same idea, right? It's right. like let's go in and create that sound, and so in a way, it's flattering. <laughs> you're like, well, it's flattering <laughs> until someone makes money off of you, right? Right. No, no. And you're like, screw these people. Yeah. No, but it's happened. I, I was in the studio recording, and my one of my friends that I write with, Angelie, like she she was singing these lines, and then I sang them, and I was like, is this you? Is this my voice or your voice? So it's you know, like, cause yeah, we can't. So it'll be even worse when we get the. The robots doing. I really won't. Right. I really won't be able to tell if it's me. I mean, I, next week we're interviewing the uh, we're interviewing the Nelly Furtado robot. Very creepy. <laughs> Does Nelly know? No, shh, don't tell her. So I'm also is- really gullible. Oh, so you God. can tell me anything. I'm like, I don't know. I'm an also a conspiracy theorist. I'm like, oh my God, it's definitely, it's not me. Like I, I've had that where somebody's mixed me into the track and I'm like, you use the demo singer. Like, that's not my voice. And like, yeah, so who knows? It's all relative when it comes to music. All right, okay. I feel like it's all good and everyone's embracing it sort of right now until the AI starts touring and then it's like, mm, <laughs> I don't really know about that one. Are you good? You're good if people just use your voice and do what they do with it. You don't mind I it? mean, it's happening now. People do remixes and they sing, they re-sing them. Like if you go, there's so many re-sung songs, right? Mm-hmm. There's like the, the regular version of a the song, then there's like ten other versions, so it's it it kind of already exists. Well, the great thing about social media and I guess AI one day is, as you were saying with your daughter, it's bringing music back. It's bringing songs back that <laughs> may have faded for some people or that they remember them. Okay, yeah. the, you used to have to die to get those big pops, right? They, sure. And now it's Which like one? TikTok's bringing them back. Oh yeah, for sure. And I think um, it's almost like I think feel like AI is gonna be like really sophisticated karaoke. You know, mm. <laughs> it's like I'll elevated it's that, karaoke. I hope it's that simple. <laughs> yeah. By the way, just turning us on, Nelly Furtado is here. Of course, we're playing uh, "Keep Going Up." Of course, Nelly and Timberland and Justin Timberlake. So I go back to 2007 with uh, "Give It to Me." Oh, right, right. A oh, froggy. You like "Give It to Me"? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna fangirl right now. Promiscuous and say it right. Are two of my favorite songs of all time, and Come I'm not on. even exa- I'm, I'm not exaggerating. <laughs> if if I'm listening to the radio well, at any point, this morning. and and I hear either one of those songs, I will turn it up as loud as it will go yeah. every single time. I just love those, and and give it up to me is another one that it, just is so good. Well, loose loose itself, the album was just was so good. Thank you. Okay, so between you know Whoa Nelly and uh, Loose and now. Mm-hmm. You did things other than music, which mm-hmm. I find, yeah. I, I love these stories. I mean, yeah. you were a librarian at uh-huh. a school, and you, you worked for a record store, I think. I or, did, yeah, my friend's vinyl shop. And, I know, but... I did a whole Spanish album. No, as a, as an artist. Yeah. You did? Uh-huh, I won a Latin Grammy, actually. Okay, yeah. well, I'm, I'm stupid. Not a lot I'm of people know about it. I barely speak English. Well, I guess <laughs> my Spanish-speaking <laughs> audience knows. Well, they do. Anyway, Hola. I love, I love the global <laughs> feel that you bring to the room. But, but I love that... That you're, okay, 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 question, let me rephrase. When you were, were between music uh, uh, projects, yes. and you were doing things that weren't music, yes. right, sort of, how did, as, as an artist, was that a positive time for you, or it was a growth, a time of growth? I mean, I don't know, what was your life like between the music? At the time, the I really needed it, because yeah. like every time I would like, I'm a very like um, overachiever type of personality, like, a bit obsessive and compulsive. So when I do mm-hmm. something, I do it full force. There's no like middle ground. So if I'm working, I am like, yeah, you want me to swim underwater for five minutes? I'll do it. You know, like. Right. So if I'm doing promotion or promoting something, I'm 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 like, you know, pedal to the metal, go. So it tends to make me feel burnt out after a while. So I need to take longer breaks. That's mm-hmm. just kind of my style. You're being a mother at the same time. I'm also a mom. Yeah, and I I obviously like I. I I, I love being a mom and I and I just learn and grow so much from it and I and I love that I lo- that those times in my life also you know have been so special and yeah I like to take time when I do things um but I've found a new balance recently because I feel like now that I have small ones like I've got like a five year old a, f- a five year old daughter a four year old son and you know a nineteen year old who's like in third year like mm-hmm. here at NYU and I'm loving my job more than ever. I'm loving my job. More Your than energy ever. is yeah, 
off the chart fabulous, by the way. Thank you so I, I much. I was about to say the F word. It's yeah. effing fabulous. <laughs> but, Wait, I want to know if you were the hot librarian. Did you have your hair in a bun? Yeah, and we were the glasses, hot librarian. You know. You know, I was kind of just even, my daughter's Even school. the gay boys like but me I, wanted to like, like <laughs> play with your hair and stuff. Yeah, and I thought I was kind of hot. No, I unfortunately know how to dress down too well. So it's it's like it's like so extreme. It's like I either look like a paper bag or I'm fully glammed up. <laughs> There's no in-between. Did the kids at the school know, like, oh my God, Nelly Furtado was a librarian? Yeah, it was kind of like just quiet moments, me and the Dewey Decimal System, you know? No, okay, now stop right <laughs> Now you you brought it up. Now so we were talking about you earlier, and Nate said, "You know, I wonder if she even knows what the Dewey Decimal System is." I said, "Absolutely, they I think they use it? they still use it, don't they?" An '80s kid, yes. I spent many there's, many there's, hours in the library reading Judy Bloom as a child. <laughs> there are people are going, "What the hell are they talking about? Who's Dewey, and why does he have a decimal system?" <laughs> No, for sure. No, I need those. And I, similarly, like the record store thing was like, I was just like sad one day, like sad at a craft store. I don't know if you've been there. It was like miles away. Wait. I was at like Michael's or something. And oh, I was yeah. like, well, I don't know. I was feeling like sad. And then I just, my car just beelined to the record store I used to go buy vinyl at um, when I was making my very first album as a teenager. Right. And I'm like, See, this is good. Give me no, no. a job here. I know, but well, I, I, I see need what you're to feel doing. Alive again. I see what you were doing because when you were a kid, that record store that was like the building the foundation of your career. Oh God, you yeah, know? like my like life blood was music. Like since a child, like every instrument, every choir, every marching band, jazz band. You were in a marching band. Yeah, I played trombone. <gasps> you did. Yeah, I for love 10 it years. when women played trombone. I was the yeah. drum major because I had to be oh in charge at all times. That's major. <laughs> no pun so intended. Stupid. It was like, so stupid. Boom, boom, you played the big bass drum? No, no, well, no, I was the drum major. Oh, shoot. Okay. Uh, oh, no, I was in charge. I always envied like America, American like high school stuff because we, we had a band, but it was not a marching band and we did not have a cheerleading team. We didn't, I used to like idolize, because I'm Canadian, idolize like the football, like high school teen movies. Did, did the hockey players have a cheerleading squad? <laughs> no. no. It's did too you cold. ever go into a hockey locker room? They, they're the smelliest locker rooms ever. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> hey, I have this weird feeling, and I, I've been doing this for a while, so I don't know. Maybe what? I'm just, you know, maybe I'm all stoned or something. I'm on shrooms right now. <laughs> I'm kidding. I just have a feeling that you have some. You have a lot more coming out. I mean, I know that we're playing oh the song God. with you and Timbaland and, and Justin, but... I am holding music like... I'm so, like, I mean, are, is, ah, okay, it's like ready and, to let... Like, I have so much music Are you and Timbaland about to, like, pop some stuff? Yes. Okay, so this oh, is what happened. Oh, so the happened. answer is yes. I'll take you back. Mm -hmm. So, okay. this summer I released Eat Your Man, a song with Dom Dalla, uh, electro uh, tech house DJ, amazing. And he's, like, big in, like, the rave scene, the dance scene. And so we, we played at Lollapalooza together, like, a month ago. Um... That was so fun to do. Love that song. It's a throwback to some of my old songs. It's like, I'll eat your man, devour him. Oh, it's like a whole like throwback in the lyrics. Yeah. And then um, then I, I hooked up with Timbaland in Miami, and we did uh, Keep Going Up, and we're going to keep making more music. But I also have an arsenal of other music I've been making for the last like 12 months solid. See? So, uh, and you thought... wait, you're going to be at the MTV Video Music Awards tonight, right? <gasps> Shh, don't tell anyone. It's oh, secret. sorry. Oopsie. It's, well, it's, it's, ev it's everywhere. Do you, think, do you think there'll be an NSYNC reunion tonight? Oh. <gasps> oh. If there is, I have not heard about it, but I feel like by judging from like this reaction, I what? think there is, and nobody told me. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm thinking maybe there. Uh, I think there is. Hey, what's scary? Oh, we have some great texts coming in. That's Nelly. Sick. Yeah, no, Nelly is iconic. My absolute favorite. My two and a half year old sings uh, oh, I'm Like a Bird Every Day. Love that is Nelly. so cute. And her Spanish language album is awesome. Yeah. These are real time texts. That now, is so okay. sweet. Thank you so much. Is the word iconic a positive or a negative or a little like like a little bit of both? I love it. Okay, take it. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> if someone ever if someone ever uses really the word fun. legend, I'm saying legends are dead. <laughs> are they? No, I don't I don't know. I don't really mind it. I mean people kinda throw that word around now, like for fun, which is cool. And then yeah, I can't I mean I love like iconic images and iconic like things like that last forever. I think now that it's been I guess twenty three years since they started, I like kinda like look back and go, Okay. Maybe we did a good job with that. But right. while it was happening, I was just totally just like dissing myself all the time. Nelly Furtado <laughs> is here. A three-year-old, a four-year-old, and a 19-year-old. Um, what you're doing now, if you're on the road, you're doing what you're doing, it takes a lot of time. Yeah. Being a mom and doing this, the balance. Major balance. How is that balance for, for you? Oh, my God. Well, I think it's like any other job like where it's not, but it is. Like the only thing that's different are the hours sometimes because I like to be at the studio really late at night. 
Um, so I just like make time and make my schedule a certain way where I can have blocks of time where I'm being creative and right. blocks of time where I'm just really hammering in the, the work. Um, doesn't leave much time for like a social life, but I try my best because I don't want to get burnt out again. So I have to be like, I have to like make it all flow, you know, well, but, but I have in... a lot of fun at work, which helps. Well, and good. Yeah. And that, that's part of the balance. But here you are in New York City. I mean, are you going to, you've got a, you've got a job tonight because it's the, uh, it's the show. I mean, are you going out? Are you going to restaurants? Are you seeing yes, friends? Yes, I will go out. Okay. All I'm right. also like single lady so it's fun for me to go out oh, and watch just out. Like, meet people and yeah, <laughs> yeah should we alert we alert this the media the yeah. about about it. Cat around <laughs> town. About it. um no it's fun like it's it's a good time like I, I i think i'm having way more fun now in like my 40s than i ever did well let's talk about the evolution the, the evolution of nelly Furtado. <laughs> i mean the business is a totally different world now than it was then you've grown in i'm making assumptions you've grown into this new role with your association with music mm -hmm. are you in are you are you digging it i mean is it is it as fun now as it was then is it exhilarating what's the difference between then and now for you it's more fun now because i remembered that like you just have to do it for yourself you know like if i've put in the rehearsal time i've prepared myself i get out on stage and the work has been done already and there's not, like you can't control the rest right so a certain level of detachment like you know okay i'm going to give it to god let's go <laughs> let's just work hard and try your best like literally it sounds so simple but i i feel like that's where i'm at right now you you look at at any Anyone, anywhere listening to this conversation with you, Nelly Furtado, and they can relate. I want everyone to relate with what you're talking about. The evolution of your life, like what it was like when you were younger. It, let's say you're listening right now, you're in an insurance business or you're yeah. an assistant or you're the president of a global, whatever. Mm -hmm. Look at where you were versus now. It's always great to like stop down and go, okay, how have I grown since then? Mm -hmm. And what did I learn? Mm -hmm. What have I yet to learn? What have I not mastered yet? Is there any, have you ever, do you ever think these things? Like, what Most do, definitely. What do I still need to go conquer? I like wouldn't be here if I hadn't spent like time going within and just kind of like working on myself. And I spent a lot of Friday nights with my journal, you know? Right? <laughs> no, nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Yeah. Before. Now I'm, I'm having a little more fun, but that was necessary because it was like, okay, let's reflect. Let's, I do believe that you just got to like, you have to crash once in a while to like build yourself up back again. And that whole cliche about like the darkest moments making you who you are and all that. It's true. So um, I would say now I'm just enjoying myself more. I realize that it's not that serious try your best you know like especially even having the perspective of children with like decades in between um that like you you understand what's important and what's not you right. know like you might have been concerned about all these little things that aren't that important like your your old your older daughter you said well yeah you like, you, you, you were much more strict as you were a new mom now the, oh, the yeah. three and the four year old like, they, you let no them eat TV, <laughs> you let, no. <laughs> now you let the kids eat food off the floor you don't care yes. anymore <laughs> you're not I want to say I'm joking <laughs> But no, it's true. Yeah. And there's in life in general, even my job, I'm like, okay, you have nobody to blame except for you. If you screw up or if things don't go well, like that's on you. It's on me. You know what I mean? Because I'm the one who needs to speak up. I'm the one who needs to deliver. I'm the one who needs to make sure the quality is there. You know what I mean? Yes, I do. Yeah. Because like, otherwise you're just a bitter person walking around. So when you need to <laughs> relax and unplug and reset, because you said you don't want to burn out, what's your go-to? Good question. Um... I love just like leaving my phone at home or putting on airplane mode oh. and like maybe just packing a picnic for my little ones and oh. putting them in the wagon and just going to the park all day long. And they don't have cars in Canada? <laughs> you, it's like a horse wagon? Is this like an Amish it's thing? It's basically like a horse and carriage. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I tell you, having you here is pretty amazing because I you know what look we play music because it's our business to play it yeah it's a part of what we have to do but at the same time your music has always just been really great and solid and moving and to hear you here today playing this song and anticipating more music to come yeah. it's a pretty cool thing Nelly oh I feel the same way so you knew again I mean I've known you for 23 years you got it. Have I been, <laughs> am I that old? That's I how am. old am I are. Here we go. <laughs> yep. It's been a while. When I was five, we met. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it was a fetus. You were a fetus at the time. Anyway. No, but I feel the same way. Very warm, fuzzy feeling. This is great. I, I, we want nothing but wonderful things to continue for you. Thank you. And, uh, and so and, sweet. And as people listen in and hear about, like I said before, the evolution of your life, I hope it's relatable to everyone, no matter what you're doing in life. Where 
you, you, if you end up how you seem to be ending up, it's okay. You're good. You're Aww, good. I just try to be grateful. Like that's all. Like I just remember, like I saw like um, Coco, the the the, the new winner of the. Uh, sorry, oh, make oh, me not oh, sound Coco, stupid. Coco, Coco, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you're so. Quick. I saw her talking about like I'm so grateful to be playing tennis because there are people who don't know where their next meal is coming from. You know, and I'm like that is such a great message. It's true, and she's amazing. That's a great message, you know. And I and I and I and I and I, I, I feel like gratitude has changed my life. You and know? having her and represent, work. having her yeah. represent us, the U.S. around the world with, with playing tennis. We're so lucky to have that. Yeah, it's so nice to see something so positive and see somebody say something so positive and be like, yeah, that's that's hype, that's abundance, that's amazing. Well, keep doing that. Don't, and, and even in your dark days, don't forget to do it because people need that. And uh, I think you're you're a great example of someone who is making other people feel good. You lift, I feel lifted up. Oh my gosh, thank I mean, you. <laughs> my old man boobs may be sagging. <laughs> Maybe sagging, <laughs> but the rest of me feels very uplifted. Very uplifted. <laughs> Lifting and separating. You look mean. snatched. You look great. Nelly Furtado. I'm going to play this song. But you know what? I'm going to do. How much time do we have? Can I play two songs? If you want. Oh, please do. Can I read her one more text? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Somebody texted in that the album Whoa Nelly helped them out of their dark place in high school. So thank you for that. Aww. I know. I feel like those are the messages that make it all. All exciting and worthwhile. Well. It's thank you. Tell them I say hi and I love them. Oh, <laughs> I think they just heard it. So yeah, it's good. you're good. They heard it because they're listening to oh, every word. I love you. Thank you. There you go. Okay, Same I'm gonna, here. I'm definitely gonna play. Uh, what, yeah, keep going up. Okay, but okay, Froggy. Since you are, are so into the catalog, what is it you want to hear from Nelly? Either say it right. No, no. no give me or, the one you want to hear. Oh, oh. Give me say it right. Bring up okay, okay. Sarah. Okay, we'll second. play that in a second. But I'll play <laughs> yes. going up now. Give him what he wants. God, I love that song. Nelly oh, Furtado. I keep going up, yeah. Thank you for coming in. Oh, thank you, Elvis. So good to see you. It's Tuesday, so we're going to do the Tuesday twofer. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to yeah. play two <laughs> from Sid. Twofer. Two from Nelly Furtado. <laughs> Double fister. Oh, ouch. Oh. <laughs> oh. Hello. I don't even. I, <laughs> Always a wild time. I don't even know her. <laughs> wow. Not Nelly's that getting way. out. Get that way. <laughs> with, with that said. You guys I, went deep with that one. <laughs> no, you did. Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> You're on a roll here. I just I like sat it. here. <laughs> I sat here and did nothing. <laughs> Nelly Furtado, it's so great having you here. That means you're holding two beers. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it, Nelly Furtado, everyone. Woo! Woo! The Mercedes-Benz Interview Lounge.